requested by our fellow legislators, and today is no different. We have uh, from um, Kavan Abrahams, the minority leader, and Laura Karin, legislative uh, for District 5, who have a point for personal privilege. And I was told that uh, uh, legislator Karin will uh, do the honors. You can do wherever you want. I'll go down. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Um, Kavan and I are here with Fred Kopp and Michael Reed from the Firemen's Association of New York, FASNI. Um, Fred, this is actually a very, very big deal. Fred, he's a lifelong Baldwin resident, and um, he was chosen for last year's Firefighter of the Year for the whole state uh, for a very brave reason. who has been with the fire department in Baldwin for 29 years and is also a firefighter in the city. Um, late on a Saturday night last summer, I believe it was the 4th of July, correct? Independence Day. Um, a lot of stuff going on, very busy night, I'm sure. There was an apartment in Baldwin that was on fire. He walked through his, he made his way through the burning living room, found the victim in a rear bedroom, and rescued the victim a 56-year-old man who was suffering from severe smoke inhalation and actually unfortunately succumbed hours later. But Fred negotiated the fire department in zero visibility, blistering heat, and without the benefit of a partner to carry out the successful rescue. Without any regard to his own personal safety and in a rapidly deteriorating environment, it was the culmination of his courage and his determination and his skill that made this that made this rescue happen, and unfortunately, the man did succumb to his to his injuries. It was the next day. Um, so, I, as a Baldwin resident, I feel very safe that you're there looking out for us. I feel very proud, and I want to give you my most deepest congratulations and thank you. Just to echo um, what Legislator Curran had said, I. I think I sleep a little bit better at night, and I can probably speak for the residents of Baldwin to have a gentleman and a firefighter such as Fred Kopp that's there to protect us. Um, I think in, in all his duties and all his responsibilities, obviously um, it's a challenge to be uh, a firefighter when you have to risk your life. You risk the fact that you're away from your loved ones, obviously, during those times, but you also can risk your life when you have to walk into danger and put someone else's life that you never met before uh, in the first and foremost. So we thank you for your service. Obviously, this is a very, very distinguishable award, Firefighter of the Year, not just here in Nassau, but across the state of New York is a tremendous, tremendous recognition. And the people of Baldwin, as well as the surrounding communities, thank you for your service. We hope that, that obviously you will, will not have to endure this level of um, uh, of danger again, but if you are called upon, we know that you'll be there, willing, and, and ready to fight. Um, I'm ready to go up against any level of danger that you have to endure. So we thank you for your service on behalf of the residents of the first of the district, and I'm sure it's the fifth, Legislator Curran, myself, would like to present you with a citation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Legislature who would like to say a few words, who is also a, fire, a volunteer fire, uh, Legislator Rhodes. Uh, thanks, Presiding Officer Gonzalez. And uh, you know, Fred, I just wanted to, uh, to Fred, add. Fred, listen. Just wanted to add my Fellow congratulations to you. You know, I had the, I had the chance to speak, and, and uh, thanks uh, to Mike Reed for uh, for introducing us before. But I had the chance to speak to Fred briefly, and uh, 
you know, his comment to me was, you know, it basically it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. I was in the right place at the right time. And and you know, every hero that you've ever spoken to, uh, pretty much utters those same words. But it doesn't diminish what you did. And and having been, uh, being a, a volunteer firefighter myself, um, you know. I know what goes into the training. Uh, I know what goes into being in a situation like that. Um, and you know the, the, the fact that it's amazing to me because you know the fact that an hour before that alarm came in, you were probably sleeping in your home in your bed, uh, and an hour later you're you're out there saving somebody's life. And the fact that you're doing it without compensation, just because you want to be there to protect the folks in, that are in your community. Uh, that's what volunteer firefighters do on a regular basis, uh, and you know the, the story of your save. I'm so happy to hear because uh, it really doesn't get any better than that. So uh, you know, being part of the brotherhood, I wanted to offer uh, my personal congratulations to you. Um, you know, not only as a legislator but as a firefighter. Uh, tremendous work. Great job.